Okay, it's the 30th of January. Um, morning time, I went and picked Sam up um, yesterday evening. She had a good time. I was able to relax with her friends. Um, she's back here. She's doing well. I just want to make a note of the guilt and shame um, that I feel. Again, by doing these videos, the videos I did yesterday, I did um, videos on my mom, videos on um, my rich side of the family, my grandmother, things my grandmother said. Um, you know, and it just keeps coming back to me. Like my uncle, like I said before, a few years ago when I was working with him, um, he just out of the blue be like, I do anything to protect my family, you know? Um, and obviously saying that to me with a message again, I just was out of it. I didn't pick up on what he was putting down. Um, but I just find that so crazy. Like, so you do anything to protect, so I wouldn't be your family. So you did nothing to protect me from my abuse. You know what I mean? Like the gaslighting is just so horrendous. Um, the fact that I have the shame and guilt, like just saying those things like my grandma about being a Buddhist and how she always says, you know, life's too short not to be happy. Life's too short not to be happy. And then telling us, you know, as the construction guys doing our own thing, you know, don't do the work yourself, make sure someone else. I mean, it, you know, and it's just so like, obviously out of touch. I mean, it's so like non-caring. Um, and I can just hear like my other family members going, Oh, your grandma loves you so much. I can't believe you would break her heart, you know, and turn this around. It's not that I love all my family. I mean, like even to this day, like, I don't know what kind of fucked up love that is I have for these people, but I love my family. Like if they apologized and came around and, and, you know, yeah, I'd forgive them and we could move on and, and have a great life together and I'd be happy to have them in my life, you know? Um, but I'm coming to find out that that's just a program that I was placed on. Like, these people don't give a fuck about me, man. Um, just because they see me every few years and say some nice things to me. Um, my grandma sends me, that same grandma will send me a, a, she sends me a Christmas check almost every year, I think, for like a hundred bucks. Um, which comes through my mom, you know, again, weird shit. Um, you know, so they do these things and I'm telling you guys, it's like, I've been kept on the hook. Like they did the bare minimum to keep me on the hook my whole life. Um, and whether, you know, I don't know who all is directly involved and, in, and, in, and in consciously involved with what has transpired in this family. And especially with me, um, but I really don't care because, you know, if you're fucked up and you're perpetuating the abuse, you're perpetuating the abuse. And why am I sitting here just saying words, just saying my truth and afterwards feeling like I should kill myself and having so much shame and guilt for saying my truth and seeing things from everybody else's perspective in the family and thinking how bad I am. Why is that happening? Because I need help. I mean, what's going on, guys? Hmm? <clears throat> you know, um, it just amazes me that all these people that supposed to love me, their lives are fine as long as my truth isn't told, you know, I mean, think about that. <laughs> it just goes to show you I'm living in a fake fucking world, man. If everybody's lives are fine until I open my mouth and tell my truth, then what the fuck is wrong? I'm a square peg trying to fit in a round hole and it ain't working. And I've managed to, you know, over my life, fit in, you know, um, squeeze in, fit in, chameleon my ass, you know, again, manipulate my way into things, lie, um, act, you know, but my brain has taken too many hits. I've taken too many hits to the head, guys. I can no longer do that. the only thing I have left is common sense and breath, you know. I don't have room. I don't have time. I don't have effort for any of this other bullshit. So, you know, I'm dealing with all that last night, you know, just these intense feelings of shame and guilt of talking about my family. 
Um, and all it is is telling my truth. <laughs> I've just been surprised <laughs> that these people continue want, wanting suppress. They would rather go to my funeral than listen to these videos. <laughs> that should tell you how much your family loves you when they'd rather attend your funeral than watch your fucking last will and testament. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I mean it's just crazy and it's a te for me it's just a testament to how powerful each one of us is individually like somebody can take a child's life completely fucking ruin it completely fucking manipulate it completely fucking mastermind it that child can grow up with his finger at the goddamn world and just eventually have enough and 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 reclaim himself, you know, which is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm reclaiming myself from my fucked up family. <coughs> Crazy. Crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to um, make a quick video about that, about how this shame and guilt for making. I mean, it doesn't end. Like, this is, doesn't end, guys. This is what I'm saying. This abuse does not end. It just keeps on going until you heal, which is what I'm doing now. But, you know, this being the first time I've put any of this out there at all, um, you know, it just it has to process through. And when I drove up there to pick up my daughter last night, I mean, I was in immense, immense physical pain. Um you know, but it was just, I could feel it. It was just, it was things that was working itself through me and out of me. Um, so, yeah.